and just south of Carnegie are those winds. Uh, it actually, it just updated. So Carnegie, you guys are probably seeing uh, or hearing these winds. Hopefully you're not seeing these winds and you're inside and you're in some so sort of shelter. Um, let's actually put I, I, on... Yeah, and I did want to mention that there are some very strong winds moving through portions of Tillman County down there near uh, Frederick, Elmer, and Tipton. There are some pretty strong winds with that storm just uh, in Tillman County. All right, one of my other uh, storm spotters that I have out there for me tonight, he says winds estimated 70 miles per hour in Altus, estimated wind gusts of 70 miles per hour in Indiahoma right now, and the rain he just said is blinding. It is very hard to be out and about um, in these storms tonight. And that's why we're make, hoping that everyone is in their safe space for this evening. They're not going anywhere. Um, it's 8.15 right now. I uh, just wanted to look at this real quick because they're saying there's a possible, not uh, radar indicated at all, but there's eyeing the possibility for some light circulation in Comanche County right now in the far northwest in the Wichita Mountains. Um, yeah, that's going to be hard to see with the mountains. Um, I would guess here, 115, 58. North. They're saying that there are sirens going off right now. Is that for Lawton? Sirens going off in Lawton right now. There are sirens in Lawton right now going off. Okay. But I'm assuming it may just be for the winds and the severe thunderstorm warning. I am also going to assume that too because these winds are what, 80? Producing 80 miles per hour. Yeah, yeah. Um, that that sounds about right. Uh, the the sirens that you guys are hearing that are going off in Lawton right now, um, those are for 80 mile per hour wind gusts. I'm gonna try and see if I can find one where it's probably getting to. Of course, these are just radar indicated winds from what I'm looking at, but like this one right here near around, I want to say that's near India Homa, probably producing 57, and then. Uh, and then you, you, you guys also have to remember, too, that um, tornado sirens, yes, they're, they're called tornado sirens, and that's what most people refer to them as. Um, but they're also just emergency sirens in general, and they're not just used for tornadoes. They're also used for damaging and destructive wind gusts. And uh, I spoke with the city officials a couple of years ago. Actually, that's what I did my uh, fifth season package on back in 2021. And I remember talking to Michael Merritt, who was the emergency uh, manager at the time for the, the Comanche County, and he said that the sirens will sound... Um, in Lawton if they're at or over 80 miles per hour. So I'm not surprised that those are going off, but I can confirm with ease to let everyone know that it's because of winds right now and it is not because of rotation. And I know Josh did say that there was yeah. some rotation in the northwestern part of Comanche County. Yeah, and, they, and the, our Comanche County Emergency Management just confirmed that the sirens are going off because of indicated 80 mile per hour wind gusts. Yep. And I, I, that's what I, I have figured um, just because doing that story myself um, a few years ago. So again, and Comanche County emergency managers have now confirmed the sirens are going off because of the wind gusts of 80 miles per hour that are approaching Texoma. Um, and it looks, this line here, Josh, that, that looks to be where, where the winds are, are located right now. And they're not necessarily near Cash, they're not near Lawton, they're not near Medicine Park just yet. Um, but it does look to be like the, just west of Cash is where those winds are. And I also have another report right now from uh, a reliable source in Lawton. Uh, he's just saying that they are just seeing wind gust in, in Lawton and he's on the west side of town. Yeah, and I'm getting other reports of sirens uh, and Weatherford up there near I-40, but also Cash is having their sirens go off yep. as well. So, of course, anyone inside Comanche County, uh, Cash, Medicine Park, uh, uh, Elgin would even include that as well, but India Homa, definitely, Lawton, uh, even Chattanooga, Faxon, yeah. Yeah, and I mean, they're not even seeing too much right now. Yeah, I can go back to our reflectivity real quick so you can see uh, we got some clusters of heavy rain, the Cache, Medicine oh, yeah. Park, uh, up there into the Wichita Mountains. But the main line of it right now looks to be right next to where our uh, chasers are. Uh, India Homa, which is right over here, uh, looks like the storm's about to be on you any minute now. Yep, and I did see, have a report. 
um, did have a report of 70 mile per hour wind gust in India Homa. Let's take up Cameron University tower cam uh, just because I want to show you how bad this tower cam is shaking right now um, with how strong these wind gusts are coming in. Yeah, we did have lightning shortly. Yeah. Um, Thank you guys for all the reports about the sirens going off. Uh, it's good to know that they're working, but yes, uh, the strong winds are the reason Ooh, for why the storms are going off. And at this point, Josh, I mean, you, you can disagree with me, but I think Comanche County is really going to be seeing more of a wind threat here. I would say anywhere. I know uh, this tornado warning is still technically in effect until 8.30, but I'm assuming since it's on the backside now. But at the moment, a lot of our severe thunderstorm warnings have a tornado possible tag, but nothing to indicate a severe uh, tornado uh, itself. Um, trying to look at... I mean, tornado or not, take take shelter, move to a storm shelter and move to your safe space, an interior room, the lowest part of a floor, a sturdy building, avoid windows. Um, hopefully you're not outside at this point. Um, if you're in a mobile home or in a vehicle, move to the closest, you know, uh, shelter that you can protect yourself from this flying debris because um, 80 mile per hour wind gusts are no joke, whether it's tornadic, tornadic 80 mile per hour wind gusts, but also just straight line wind damage. And sometimes uh, straight line wind damage can cause more harm than actual tornado damage. Yeah, so and just an update, we, they're not confirming anything yet, but looking at Caddo County, just north of Carnegie, I think it would be probably around right, if I can draw it real quick, right up here. They're looking at the possibility of some rotation kind of up here inside this area. Uh, inside Caddo County. This yeah. is north of Carnegie, but they're looking at the, they're kind of eyeing it at this moment, but I don't want to say anything's confirmed yet, but keep in mind that Caddo County is underneath a severe uh, thunderstorm warning. So regardless of what happens from that, there's still a severe thunderstorm warning in effect for Caddo mm -hmm. County. All right, let's zoom out. Let's show you the whole picture here. We have our storm chasers still out and about. We have Alex over there checking social media. We have Josh driving the radar um, and then me on TV. We have Southwest Oklahoma and North Texas all in severe thunderstorm warnings uh, in the orange polygons. The flashing means that they've just been updated, but I mean, so far they've been anywhere from 60 to 70, even close to 100 miles per hour wind gusts. So this is no joke by any means, and we're gonna continue to watch this storm and this line of storms as we continue to move uh, towards the east here. Now this tornado warning was supposed to expire, at 8.30, and that's in seven minutes from now. Um, they are watching an area of rotation. Maybe that will be warned. They just expired it. They just expired it. Okay, so this tornado warning is going to expire here in seven minutes. I'm still going to stay on it um, until then because we are dealing with some very strong wind gusts um, with this overall line of thunderstorms. What are the dew points looking like? I'm curious to see if they're still moving into a favorable condition, favorable environment. I can try pulling that up real quick for... I know it's not in our severe hit, but... Yeah, I can try pulling it up on the side over here just to look at currents for it. Yeah, thank you. Hello, cold front and dry line. Yeah, you can really see where uh, a lot of these, uh, and if, if you want to know why the storms are this strong, just the gradient between the two, yeah. 60, 61, that is why these storms are so strong. Okay. Two points in the 40s and 30s out towards Altus and Childress. That's usually what we see during our winter months of how dry the air is. You guys know you, you need the chapstick. Your hair becomes a little bit staticky. Your pets become staticky. Uh, that is typically what we see during a dry winter uh, air mass. The 60 dew points, that's usually what we see during... Um, 
spring season. And this, these dew points are why we're seeing uh, the severe weather that we are right now. I want to real quick, if you'll let me pull up the Mesonet wind speeds. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, just to see what our Mesonet is currently saying with some of these winds. And then I can pull up wind gusts in a second as well. But you can see this is, these are just wind speeds themselves. And obviously we've I mean, been talking about <laughs> yeah, 47, but keep in mind, these aren't the gusts and I can move to gusts here in a second. Just so you can see some of these are eyeing like, yeah, look at that 64, 52. There should be a new tornado. Warning. Uh, I think you're right. This is coming. This was for the rotation near Carnegie. This is for Caddo County, a tornado warning coming out. Okay. So we are going to stay on TV folks. Uh, we were going to hop off, but now they have issued a tornado warning for Carnegie. Yeah. Rotation, radar indicated. This is a, an observed tornado. Observed tornado, okay. This is until 8.45, so the next 20 minutes. It's moving northeast at 50 miles per hour, and it's located right near Fort Cobb. Okay, so Fort Cobb, you're in, you're in the polygon. Gracemont, you're not technically in the polygon, but I'm still going to add you to, to, take, to take your tornado precautions. Banger is a part of this uh, tornado warning. Hinton, you're just outside of it. Um, Let's see if I can probably draw something a little bit better there. I'm trying to... Let me load this up for you guys so you can see where these storms are currently moving. is isn't drawn very well, but Fort Cobb, it's pretty much at this very moment. Mm -hmm. You can see. Well, that's also why you see the tornado warning flashing white. It's because it's confirmed uh, by a spotter. I was going to uh, see if we can actually take Jared and Matt's shot, but <laughs> they just said that the winds are just too strong and too dangerous for them right now, that they are going to park in the Target parking lot when they get to the west side of Lawton and just kind of sit there um, in shelter, which I don't blame them by any means. I can kind of start to hear those uh, winds. Oh yeah, look at that rotation. Yeah, I wanna kind of see how the strength of these winds right here. This bright area, usually we look for reds, we look for greens, but in this instance, uh, it's this bright blue area that is just north of Fort Cobb along 146. And this is a rural part of Caddo County, um, but we're still not gonna let our guard down and let hop off air here. We're gonna stay on this tornado warning. Uh, Binger was included in that tornado warning. Gracemont was just outside of this, but I am going to include them. And Adarko, you guys are not in that tornado warning, but it is still uh, close to your vicinity. Carnegie, you can see where it is, uh, 58 and Highway 9 towards the left-hand side of your screen. Uh, right now, the tornado is located uh, towards the north to northeast here, basically due north of Fort Cobb along 146 is where we see that rotation. It's this, this ball of blue that is tightly coupled together with the green. Uh, that is the tornado that we have. We're currently seeing rain on our Lawton Tower cam kind of falling down, but I'm also seeing a lot more lightning coming out from the west now because mm -hmm. I think that storm is, that looks like the winds have just been updated on this one. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, we're in between Oklahoma City now and... Try and move down here. To, you can see really where the winds are. Medicine Park right got here. the probably the cash. You fr you're probably seeing the winds right now. Medicine Park. Yep. Thank you, Josh. That line right there. And so Oklahoma, you guys have been seeing some stuff. If you guys have damage and you're post this line of winds, please, please, please send in your reports. Whether at kswo.com, find myself on Facebook, find Josh on Facebook, find Alex. Send us a message. Let us know what you saw for damage. And even tomorrow morning, um, as you're waking up, but just make sure that you're safe in doing so. 
Um, but we want to know your reports. We want to know what you guys saw. If you happen to have any uh, weather stations that record some of these wind gusts, uh, please, please send in those reports. I can't reiterate that enough because uh, technology is great and it can give us all these algorithms and, and what we think that we're seeing, but unfortunately it really relies on you guys as viewers as to the actual ground truth to see what is happening across Texoma. So yeah, Matt and Jared and Jaden, uh, they're headed closer to uh, the west side of Lawton. They're going to kind of park and wait for the winds to come in. Don't blame them at all because they, they're moving pretty, pretty quickly and unfortunately dangerously too, to the point where we... We're going to have damage somewhere, whether it's straight line wind damage, whether it's tornado damage. Um, hopefully it's not too bad. Yeah, Matt and Jared are pulling into the parking lot now. Let's go back to the tornado warning up north. So Lot and Geronimo, heads up to y'all. Uh, we got that tornado or the straight line winds, excuse me, headed to the area. Um, focusing now on the tornado warning that is in place. This includes Fort Cobb. This is just north of Gracemont. And uh, Gracemont, you are not in the polygon here but I'm not counting you out by, by any means. Uh, Binger is also in this tornado warning. Hinton, you're in this tornado warning. And I believe that's Eakley. I, I'm gonna butcher that. Someone please tell me if I'm correct or not. I don't think I've really say it too much on air to know the exact. Uh, uh, Josh, do you, do you think that's Eakley, Eckley? I would say Eakley, but Eakley, yeah. yeah, I'm not. I'm Someone supporting. correct us if I'm wrong, please. Yeah. Um, regardless, take your precautions. This is a confirmed tornado. Unfortunately, you really can't see too much from our fra reflectivity map behind here. So let's go back to velocity because that was really just a better indication of where, where the storm was. And I just wanted to give an update just south of us, Wichita County, where Wichita Falls is at, is now under a severe thunderstorm warning for okay. a 60 mile per hour wind gust and quarter size tail. All right, so it's this area here. We're starting to see more reds uh, filter in north of Fort Cobb. Um, it is moving towards the northeast. Yeah, at about 50 miles an hour. I'm going to say, I believe they slowed down significantly 50 miles per hour, but we're still going to have a lot of storms along that dry line. Uh, the dew points that were out to the west were drier. Dew points to the east are a little bit on the higher side. Uh, that combination of dry and uh, dry, cool air, dry, warm air, all of that, you know, comes together to create the tornado favored environment. So this is north of Fort Cobb, 146, Highway 146. It's headed to Highway 152 right now. It's due west of Gracemont. Currently, Binger, take your tornado precautions. Uh, if you guys have friends or family up there, make sure to give them a shout out, give them a text, likely call them opposed to texting them, FaceTime them, whatever the case may be. Let them know that we do have uh, a confirmed tornado on the ground. 7 News is confirming uh, that through the National Weather Service, and this is a dangerous situation. Uh, you can see that tiny, tiny little area of rotation that we have uh, that is moving up towards the north and east. East. Is it going to hit Banger? Is it going to stay in between Banger and Gracemont? We'll just have to wait to see the latest uh, few scans here. But again, confirmed tornado north of Fort Cobb, Highway 146, Highway 152, Highway 281. Banger is in the tornado polygon. Eakley as well, Fort Cobb. Carnegie, you're not in it, but you are uh, in the clear for right now. And Gracemont, you're just outside of it, but I'm still going to include you in these tornado precautions. So make sure uh, just to take it easy, you know, stay in your safe spot, make sure to have your multiple ways to uh, receive your alerts. And even if it's not the tornado warning that we have to deal with, we still have um, some very, very strong winds that are also moving towards the east. It looks like it jumped now. If we zoom in here, it's now east of 146. More south, south. Yeah, west. unfortunately, our rotation thing is probably our one that's behind the most. It's usually behind by where the positioning actually is whenever it does update. Yeah. But we still got two spots at least. But the tornado warning was for this spot in particular here. Mm -hmm. 
Aside from the tornado warning, we do have a lot of rain associated with the tornado polygon. Uh, there was a lot of reds. There was a lot of yellows. You can see um, where this rain currently is. Apache and Adarko, you guys are seeing a lot of rain right now. Um, yeah, and this is currently uh, moving across there is Cash. I would probably, I'll move back up in just a second, but I just want to yep. give an update here. Uh, cash. Right here. Just cash, you're getting poured on right now. Lawton, very, very soon. I know we said... Uh, Probably around 8.40, I want to say at this point for here in Ted Lawton, that's about five minutes. We'll probably be reaching our far western neighborhoods. Those of you who live in West Lawton, probably in the next five minutes, I want to say. But just in case, I want to zoom out probably just a little bit down to North Texas, just so those of you down there could see uh, Electra look, looking like you have the storms right on you right now. Looks like we got a new update. to be a thunderstorm warning. Uh, currently uh, moving through uh, Frederick already passed by, but Granfield, Chattanooga, looks like you're being impacted right now. And... Uh, Moving down a little bit more south, you could see Throckmorton and Baylor County, of course, would be reaching it soon. But I guess let's move back north up here to this one where it's now kind of hard to tell because these storms are moving so quickly. Now most of the heavier part of the storms is outside of or on the var edges of this uh, tornado warning. Josh, I want to go to velocity because the reflectivity that's coming up here, Gracemont, that is not a, a good situation right now. Gracemont, take your precautions. I hope you guys are all ready in your safe spaces, away from the windows, underneath uh, possibly something that can help protect you from damage. Uh, this definitely has strengthened since it's crossed 146. And unfortunately, Gracemont, you are in the direction of this rotation. Now, I don't believe the polygon actually includes Grace Mott, because it was more Josh up towards, uh, say, this direction towards Binger than it was Grace Mott. But that's why I said Grace Mott. We're not letting our we're not letting our guard down because you, it weather is going to do what weather wants to do. So unfortunately, uh, this couplet has tightened significantly. It's right now located just west of 281. Uh, I hope, 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 hope everyone in Gracemont is taking their precautions. Please, friends, family, relatives, neighbors, let them know, hey, you guys got to get somewhere and you got to get somewhere quick. This is now not the time to be thinking about what your action plan is. Put into place what your action plan is. Make sure to get away from exterior walls. Yeah, Josh? So this is what I want to mention. They mentioned said NWS chat earlier, but that this system was producing two circulations. They were looking at okay. the main one, but they were looking at the second one, I want to say, right here. And that's what I was just going to say when I finished. So they've just now announced that there's two okay. tornado warnings, one for the one in Gracemont and one for the one up here okay. in Binger. So the circulation we were just looking at is the, now just the one that was just issued, but we still have the current one, which was for that northern circulation that I just pointed out. And what's hard about tracking night storms is it, it doesn't matter which one of these has the observed tornado tag. I mean, it's just these storms are one very quick moving. So storm chasers are just having a hard time keeping on these storms. But also um, it's, it is at night. So you, you do have to drive a little bit slower when it comes to rain. Uh, you do have to take that into consideration. So that is... Um, is unfortunate, but yes, I can see both of those. Let's still go to Gracemont. Uh, yeah, I wanted to put a track on this real quick. Yes, thank Kind you. of off towards the northeast right here. It's only moving at 40 miles per hour, this one. Minko, arrival time, 9.09, Gracemont, 9.39. That is in 30 seconds, y'all. I've been telling you, please, I hope you guys are safe. I hope you guys are in your storm shelters because of that rotation. Um, that one so far does not have any confirmation that there's a tornado on the ground, but that couplet did, did tighten up very, very quickly, a little bit too quickly. Um, and then we also have that other area of rotation that is just to the north of this, but that looks to be um, a little bit more weaker rotation compared to that bottom one. Alex, what are you seeing on social media right now? Uh, I've seen a couple uh, barns being destroyed back back in Hobart with that tornado mm -hmm. uh, about an hour ago now. Uh, in terms of what we're seeing uh, right now, there hasn't been too many reports other than just lots of lightning out there because it's so dark out there now. You can't really see too yeah. much. Um, 
But yeah, I, we are seeing some of the reports now from the o earlier tornado warnings, and there is some damage to just some barns and things of that so far as what I've seen. Yeah, so I just wanted to point this out so you can see that there are two circulations. This one right here near Gracemont, yep. and this one up here named Binger. So these two towns right here, two separate circulations mm -hmm. uh, being impacted at this moment. The one in Gracemont is, is more more put together than the Binger one. But regardless, we both have two, two cities here that are, have, are, that are under tornado warnings. Um, regardless of when these expire, this is a, a situation that we do not want to see. But unfortunately, given the environment today, that's just the way it was. There were high dew points. The wind shear in the upper levels were, were also uh, pretty favorable. And I want to go to Matt's shot right now. Uh, we will get back to this great Ma Grace Mont tor and Binger tornado uh, warnings that we currently have. But this, wow. The winds, the, the direction of this rain, um, how much rain is falling. You can see the trees just whipping in the wind. Even Cameron University Tower Can is also shaking very, very drastically. And I just wanted to say Comanche County, Surreal, Faxon, Chattanooga, seeing wind gusts of over 70 miles per hour right now. We'll stay on this for, for probably 15 seconds just to show you. Uh, and then we'll get back to velocities and on the tornado warnings. Because we got tornadoes, we have winds, we have rain, we have thunder, we have lightning. Distantly, I can hear the thunder on the east side of the station right now. Uh, the strongest of the winds looking like they're approaching Lawton. I would, it's not nearly as defined as it was earlier. And it, it's funny, the storms north of Toronto have more of a northeastern aspect to them, where if you zoom out, Josh, the, the storms south of Geronimo that extend across north Texas, uh, those have... Um, a completely different shape than than the ones that are up up north. So yeah. Burke Burnett, Wichita Falls, you guys still going to be dealing with uh, some gustier winds here uh, very, very shortly. But let's get back to that tornado, both tornado warnings. Yeah, and I just, a couple of things. One, the storms that are moving towards Wichita Falls and Burke Burnett right now were indicated 60 to 70 miles per hour. And I did want to go back up to this storm, like you mentioned, because they're saying there's a pretty significant hay or, uh, sorry, debris signature near Gracemont with this one right here. Let me see if that actually is true or not. It's kind of hard to tell. Uh, Binger, definitely, but they're uh, seeing debris signatures. Uh, go ones. back in time uh, just a little bit. Yeah, I would say go back to this. That looks to be a little bit better. I mean, even Binger, too. Um, it's interesting because you see these storms over the last even 10 minutes and the structure of them and how quickly they either weaken or how quickly they either uh, strengthen. Because the bigger one didn't look too impressive at one point. Wow, you, you should take a look at our storm chaser cam right now. It looks like hurricane kind of rain out there. It really does. I mean... If we could possibly just take it for a few seconds here. Yeah, look at that. This is here in Lawton. We're not done over. We're, we're not done yet, folks. We still have uh, several hours of these storms pushing towards the east. Um, as long as there is a tornado warning in our viewing area of southwest Oklahoma and North Texas, we are still going to be on live TV for you uh, covering these storms, making sure that you guys are safe and uh, staying safe throughout the rest of this evening. But we have two tornado warnings that are in place right now. I guess only one now, it looks like. I'm not sure if they're going to extend the... Oh, no, there's one the one other one. That's right. So this white-purple polygon, that is... Um, the observed tornado that was from the Binger one that we were talking about. And then we have this red polygon, uh, which is just radar indicated. Um, that one has not been confirmed via storm spotter um, or, or whoever else. But again, those two 
uh, definitely what we're keeping an eye on. Medicine Park, Elgin Apache, y'all are seeing some heavier rain. Just want to kind of go down, those of us in Lawton, Lawton, Lawton right now. I'll go back in just a second, but heavy rain here inside Lawton. We're now in the thick of it right now. Yeah. Uh, Lawton Airport. The heaviest. Just, Lawton Airport just recorded 66 mile per hour wind gusts here in the city of Lawton. What does uh, the currents Lawton look like? Uh, for uh, winds or yeah for both I just want to see what what that is showing and then we'll get back to the tornado warnings it, it's so hard to jump back and forth right now but you have to realize winds are also still very damaging whether they're straight line winds or whether they're tornadic winds um, but we're seeing a 47 mile per hour wind gust currently in Walters 53 in Medicine Park 64 in Apache what about the Cameron University tower cam currents alone what's that showing just a 40 mile per hour wind gust Dew points still at 60 and 71 degrees. Sustained winds only at 26. Um, these, I think, only uh, update, though, every half hour. So I don't expect. Either yeah. way, it is dark. It is windy. There is lightning. Um, I did see a few cars earlier. I and mean, this is a very om om ominous and a scary-looking situation. And if I want to, if I can probably go out, I could probably see what the winds look like across uh, the rest of our area. So here's the current winds across all of Texoma. Of course, some of these are into the back, but a lot of us are currently seeing like Altus and behind the storm, still seeing wind yeah. speeds of around west. Yeah. And out of the west, too. So I'll go back and show the, uh, and I'll show wind gusts right here in just a second, but, and then I'll go back to radar. Yeah, 48 miles per hour, Wichita Falls, 47 in Duncan, 40 in Lawton, 38 in Altus, 46 miles per hour in Childress. Vernon, unfortunately, has been down for quite some time. Looks like that uh, confirmed tornado warning expired at 8.45. So yeah, the one near Banger. that's moving into Graysmont, that's moving towards Minko, is still pretty strong. And I'll show velocity here in just a second. Say, what's velocity? The rotation Yeah, so Verden, Minko, probably between there, I want to say probably right around here. That's what we're looking at. Or I don't know if it's probably this one up here, but it looks like we're looking at two possible, maybe. I was going to say it could, and it's not even QLCSs that, and it looks like um, uh, southwestern Oklahoma City is now going off on sirens, I'm assuming for uh, the uh, severe thunderstorm, but also keep in mind areas near Minko, that's when you're getting close to areas like Yukon and Mustang and Tuttle, and mm -hmm. that's, you're already near Oklahoma City at that point, so. So this is on the far northern portions of our area, and as quickly as they're moving, they'll probably be moving out of here soon, but. Can you back up uh, velocity? Yeah. A few steps, I wanna see, cause it looked like initially this was that area of rotation that did move here, yeah. But then if you watch the new scans here, that also looks like that could be, this looks to be strengthening. And that one, I was gonna say weakening, but now looking at the latest one, I'm not, not so sure about so that. What I'm seeing also from NWS is this is the one that's under the tornado warning. Yep. And they're currently eyeing this one right now. They're not saying that there's, uh, they're saying that circulation is tightening up, but they're not really seeing enough to issue a tornado warning at this time. But I would say while this one this is probably gonna, broad. this one's gonna move north towards Union City, this one moving towards Minko would probably be the one. If Minko, if you have anyone who lives up there or you live up there yourself, I would say be very concerned because at least if they don't, this is gonna be producing some strong uh, winds with this one. Mm -hmm. And this is just on the cusp of our viewing area because we, we stop here, correct? And I think that just went tornado warned. That second one? Yep. Yep. So Union City and Minko. And then Mustang. even extends out to Tuttle and even out to Mustang. 
Okay. Uh, so getting close to Oklahoma City, and like Oklahoma City is right there. It's right there into the path. We'll stay on this until it crosses Minko. I mean, I'm not sure if anyone actually gets us out there, but we'll we'll still stay on this. I mean, these storms seem to be moving, moving rather quickly. Yeah. So this uh, this one is moving northeast at 60 miles an hour. Okay. Josh, I'm gonna step off real quick. Yeah. I'll show this for a second, then I'll do another uh, uh, view where I'll show southwestern Oklahoma and North Texas, just so those of you who are who are currently getting a lot of wind and rain right now, you can see what we're looking at. But this is what we're currently looking at, Minko, uh, State Highway 152, Highway 81, even State Highway 37, and heading up there, Union City, Minko. You're probably, you guys, it's going to move just north of uh, Pocasset. I might be butchering that, Pocasset. Uh, it's going to be moving probably just north of that. And then, of course, areas like Tuttle and Mustang are inside this view right now. But I'm using much of southwestern Oklahoma, so all of you can see what we're currently looking at in terms of that. I'll probably just move this off so you don't have the storm chaser currently covering up Lawton right now. But Lawton looks like we're in the middle of it. Because of how quickly these are moving, guys, Lawton, we're almost going to be out of it in the next few minutes. Uh, but, of course, these are moving through so quickly, you still want to wait until the storm has passed. Areas out towards the west, Vernon, Frederick, Hollis, Altus, Hobart, all of Kiowa County. Remember, you guys are getting impacted a lot earlier. Now you're currently in the clear uh, because you are now behind that. You're currently hope, probably seeing a lot drier dew points now at this moment. Uh, a lot of the moisture is out towards the east. And then if areas out towards uh, Duncan and Walreek out there inside Stevens County, you're going to be seeing that moving through pretty soon. And if this storm is still moving at around up to... Uh, I'll see how quickly this is moving. So areas in Duncan and Orica, you can see probably get an idea of when this is going to be reaching yours area because I know we've been focusing a lot on the tornadoes and Comanche County and all that, but I'll show this line right here so you guys can see when this could be reaching uh, probably your area. I'll send this out to here. And then, Josh, um, we did just receive a phone call from a gentleman mm -hmm. uh, south of Lee, Seymour Springs. Um, Personally, I can't picture where that is uh, here in town, but he is pitch black, out of power, does not have any. So I'm curious to see if if anyone else is also seeing some power reports. Um, I have about over a thousand power outages right now in Lawton on the website. I'm sure that'll probably keep climbing, but right now at least a thousand people are out of power here in Lawton. I'm, I'm wondering if we're hearing hail on the top of the station right now, because I know there's a lot of rain, but... It... Okay, um, it Might looks like we're line. offline, actually. Yeah, offline, so meaning off air. We're probably off lane. Yeah, so we're probably off air on TV right now, but those of you hopefully here inside of uh, on our Facebook Live can hopefully still hear us, but we're currently off air on TV. But those of you who could probably see this, Marlow 907, we we went off air. Duncan 913. Uh, but for those of you who are on our Facebook Live who are still hearing me, uh, Marlowe 907, Duncan 915, Walrika 922. We're looking at Walters at 958. All right, it's pixelated so. now, trying to come back. We're going to do our best here. Unfortunately, it's Mother Nature. Uh, we can only do so much to, to keep our signal up. Um, and we're just bracing the storm like everyone else is because these winds have increased in the last minute since we have have been talking. And sorry, Josh, to cut you off, but... I know people are probably trying to watch us on, on TV, but trying also to watch us through Facebook Live. Um, All right. Um, Diamond or Hubbard, our reporter, who's out near Eisenhower, says they lost power out there in Lawton. Yeah, I believe that. Alex, what is that number at now? That That's probably going to go up. That number, it's still sitting at just over 1,000. Uh, so it has not increased. It's been increasing in bunches. So we'll okay. see. Hopefully that we'll see that climb here. Well, not hopefully, but it'll climb probably in the next okay. 10 minutes here. Uh, I'm sure of that. Yeah, those of you who are in West Lawton right now, you're on the west side of the storm. Eisenhower, but those of us here inside of East Lawton where the station is at, we're currently getting still a lot of that wind and rain. I'll zoom in here a lot real quick just so you can see who's still being impacted by the uh, wind and the rain. And we're, we're going to try to speak loud. It may seem like we're screaming, but that's just because of how loud it is, uh, we have a metal roof, so unfortunately, we're, we're just trying to do do our best and convey this info. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that in the background at all.
Uh, looks like we're getting some reports that there's maybe some hail coming down here inside the Lawton area. Okay. I mean, even this, look at that black. Black is never a good thing when you see it on radar. So that is some heavy rain. That's uh, thankfully in a rural part, but. I think that might be green, but. Uh, it looks black, uh, maybe. The heaviest though is definitely on the east side. Um, okay, so they have expired the tornado watch. This is the watch, by the way. They have expired the tornado watch for Caddo, Comanche, uh, Cotton, Tillman, Baylor, Wichita, and Wilbarger. So those are the areas that are currently behind the storm right now. Those are where they've expired the tornado watch for. And I guess I, if you want, if we want to show the updated tornado watch in a second, we can, just to see who's still in it. Yeah. I'm trying to hear you, Josh, but. Yeah, I'm trying to. I'm trying to put my mic as close to my mouth yeah. as I can, but um. We're 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 good though. We're we're online. Yeah. Yeah. One of our uh, engineers. Okay, perfect. One of our engineers has been sitting here waiting for this moment. <laughs> Granfield's on generator power. Okay. All right. Uh, Chattanooga also has their, uh, having some power outages down there as well. Okay. Um, that tornado warning is north of Chickasha and on the cusp of our viewing area. Yeah, um, I know we've taken a little bit of time away from it, but Minko still directly probably into the path here. Maybe. Yeah, I'm going to focus more, though, on... Yeah, you can probably see where a little bit of that... On these lines, because at that point, that, that's moving closer to, to coverage that doesn't get us. Yeah. Um, so we're, we're going to probably head off of that and just focus focus here. When is that set to expire exactly? Uh, the tornado warning? Yeah. Uh, it's set to expire. Uh, let me scroll up and go up it. Uh, 9.15 is what okay. it says. So that's still another 15 minutes. Because uh, remember that tornado warning still includes portions of the far western Oklahoma City yep. metro. Yep. What does velocity look like in these winds? You can really start to see that because I mean Rush Springs, Marlow, uh, Duncan, uh, these are the winds here, so heads up to y'all. And unfortunately, we're in between radar sites right now, so we're, we're just kind of back and forth between uh, Oklahoma City and Frederick. Yeah, I'm currently having to use the Oklahoma City radar right yeah. now. Uh, for those that are watching, for those that are either watching through TV or through Facebook Live, send in your reports, please, please, please. Unfortunately, it's only Destiny over there answering some phone calls. Um, but if that's the only way that you can send in a report, uh, we're going to try to take them as as fast as we can. But we only are uh, a one-man team on the reporting aspect of things with Destiny. Um, so either Facebook message, either KSWO, either my uh my messenger through my page, you can send them to news at weather, news at kswo.com, weather at kswo.com, either one of those for some of those reports. Maybe if you're seeing power outages, if you have damage at your home, whatever the case may be, um, let us know what, what is happening because we, not, one, we'll pass those along to the National Weather Service, uh, but two, it's also really great to see what exactly happened and what the ground truth is, because we can only get so so technical when it comes to uh, radar and technology. But that line, that white line that you see um, that Josh has drawn, that extends from Rush Springs, that extends all the way down to Walters and Randallette. That is where the strongest of wind gusts are currently located. That is the leading edge of those winds, and those will continue to push towards the east here as we head into the next several hours. So Duncan, Warica, Highway 81, folks, heads up. Rush Springs, you're probably already seeing some of those uh, winds right now, uh, give or take, but they're, they're definitely heading your way. Yeah, a lot of you who are asking, like, when uh, Duncan and uh, Marlow, Marlow, you're probably, Rush Springs already seeing it impacting Marlow in the next few minutes, same along with Bray as well. Duncan, I want to say probably another 10, maybe 15 minutes or so, but I know we've gotten some reports now of, like, power outages in uh, Geronimo, just south of uh, Lawton here, but I know Walters didn't think about it, same with Randallette and Walrika. Probably be arriving just slightly after Duncan and Comanche, probably closer towards around uh, maybe 920 or so.
Yeah, the, guys, these storms are moving fairly fast. Um, I mean, just a maybe about two hours or so ago, it was on the far western edges. Now it's already making its way in towards our eastern counties. But you can see just how large these severe thunderstorm warnings are. I mean, Wichita Falls right now. Wichita Falls is now starting to get some rain up towards their area. And Burke Burnett already kind of passed, but Wichita Falls now starting to get some of the storms impacting their area. And you can see these storms continue to stretch down the south all the way down to our far southern counties. But looking at the main severe line of storms moving through, looks like uh, this tornado warning near Minko is now moving out of our area, I want to say up towards uh, Union City and all that. So it's now just starting to move out of our DMA. So kind of wanted to move down south and still show with this. Chickasha, I know I've been seeing a lot of reports of very strong winds, and I want to probably say looking at kind of this region right here, while we be moving out of our area, this region would probably be moving in the direction of Norman probably uh, soon later on this evening in the next uh, maybe even 30 minutes or so. So this high, there's this heavy pocket of rain and just maybe even some winds moving towards uh, Norman. So those of you who are in the Norman Moore area are going to see some pretty strong winds and some rain move through. But here's a look out of what we're seeing across southwestern Oklahoma. These storms that are moving, you can see just how close they are to areas like Duncan and even getting close towards uh, Jefferson County near Walrika. Power is out in Faxon and Geronimo. That is a report from Emmett. Uh, Kent asked if he could see hail cores, what, what a hail look like. Hail, honestly, Kent, really hasn't been uh, too much of a concern for us tonight. I mean, at one point, just west of us, um, west of our viewing area, meaning there was some golf balls or um, some baseball sized hail, but that really has since. since dropped off. I think the largest hail that we have seen tonight has been golf ball, right? Yeah, I think we've only seen golf ball. I mean, out in our far western areas, right when the storms were moving in, we were seeing up to baseball. But I think here inside our viewing area, we've only seen golf ball and getting more reports of power outages here inside the Lawton area. So we'll continue to show this here in just a second. I wanted to also probably pull up wind shear maybe just one more time to see what this kind of looks like on here. I mean, there were there are some indications of wind shear up towards where the tornado was up near uh, Minko. And then there's some along this line, but as we've shown tonight, our uh, wind shear and current rotation is not really reliable because these winds are just moving through so quickly. But I'll go back to velocity here in just a second just so you can kind of see where the line of it is. So Marlow very quickly about to be reaching on you very soon. Rush Springs already kind of along that line, but along down from Rush Springs down to Central High is currently where we're seeing the main line of some of uh, the strongest winds. Marlow would be reaching you very soon within the next few minutes, I want to say. Duncan, probably just right after Marlow gets it. And as you move a little bit further south, uh, I would say Warwick could probably just after that. But at that moment, I think right now at this moment, even though we still technically have that tornado warning for our far northern areas, I think it's moved out of our region. So right now, we're just looking at severe thunderstorm warnings in effect with all these storms that are moving off towards the east. So no tornado warnings right now, but we're all looking at the entirety of our viewing area with these storms showing severe thunderstorm warnings. And it is quieted down here at our station. So it oh, looks yeah. Like, Very so it is, quick moving. It is just past Lawton. So it looks like uh, Lawton, we're in the clear right now as long with everyone else off towards the west and i i expect these storms to kind of be out of here before the 10 o'clock newscast in about an hour um let's throw a future on here because how fast is that line moving 55 uh i 50. will i'll pull up the recent severe thunderstorm warning down in north texas uh, 55 miles per hour i can pull up um or her model real quick just to see if it matches up well yeah it looks like it matches up pretty well with where the actual storms are right yeah. now yeah her usually does pretty well for us in uh severe weather all right i've looked through some of my messages um just some power outages uh 23rd two lane power is out 
Yeah, so those of you who could see this map, like, look at 10 p.m. It's already even off towards the uh, east of Duncan and Walrika at this point and still just maybe lingering downside North Texas near the Bowie and Graham area. And then mm -hmm. by 11 p.m., it's not even east of our area. It's east of Interstate 35 and well towards the east of Oklahoma City at that point. Oklahoma City is going to be seeing it pretty soon around, I want to say around 9.30 or so, and then they'll probably be in the clear by around 10 o'clock is what we're looking at. Can you draw the, uh, draw it out, though? Uh, on here to the time yeah. frame? Yep. Uh, I'll, I'll pull it probably down towards around Archer City. Destiny, any other phone calls or anything? No, it's all been about the same area. Okay. 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 Haley Wilson is also reporting power out in Walters. Um, Amanda, she works in sales for us. She is also reporting power out too. She's off of 36 and Southwest 112, heading towards Faxon. And power outages on uh, the website have increased now uh, 4,000 since I last looked about 10 minutes ago. So those power outage reports are starting to come in from all over the place. Mm -hmm. All right, so it's just started raining in Duncan. So Duncan, I know it says on here 910, and that's when the heaviest part of it's going to reach, but already starting to see rain in Duncan. And I'm getting a lot more reports of uh, streets and neighborhoods in Lawton where power outages is currently out right now. So... And I'm even seeing more reports of places like um, uh, Pumpkin Center, uh, Central High, uh, Temple are all seeing power outages as well as a good chunk of lawn. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to lie. Those winds from inside were scary. Uh, they were they were pretty, pretty strong from from our point of view here. Um, again, these this line of storms is producing um, wind damage and likely just a wind threat overall opposed to uh, sort of some tornadic events. We still have that tornado warning that is up uh, in the northern part of our viewing area. Uh, that does expire at 915. Uh, we'll continue to watch the trends, but how does circulation look any, everywhere else? I mean, I just briefly looked at the my phone and I didn't see too much rotation. Uh, these storms are still linear. But that, that has meant nothing tonight. Uh, Norman at arrival time around 917. Warica 923. Paul's Valley 947. Bowie around 958. Uh, Seminole 1005, 1018. And Ardmore and Duncan around uh, the next three, two and a half minutes or so.